Hey guys, it's Jack Graff, and today I'm going to show you what you absolutely have to need for ice fishing. This is my opinion on what you have to need, absolutely have to need, so don't judge, but stay tuned. guys first thing you absolutely have to need to go ice fishing is an auger doesn't matter what kind of auger handheld or gas I have a gas and I think that's worth the best but that's the first thing you absolutely have to need um, then you have to have a ladle the thing that scoops the ice out of the hole I think you have to need that too so your line doesn't get cut and stuff about the ice in the hole so um yeah uh, now let's start with my tackle box. This is what I use. Just a bag. You have to need some bait. Doesn't matter what kind of bait. Waxies, minnows, something to tip your lures with. To add some scent to them and some action. You need pliers. You absolutely have to need pliers. I mostly do catch and release. I don't really like keeping fish when I don't want to keep fish, so this is an absolute must. Then you need your jigs. I'll show you them real quick. Here's one. Here's one. I got quite a few jigs right now. Here's one. I have two spoons, which I think will work pretty well. And you just like really small bait fish. Alright, that's the jigs. I think you need to have jigs. Honestly, if you're bobber fishing, you can just use plain hooks with baits on them. You have to have a ruler, measure the ice if it's early season. Or if you want to measure the fish you catch to see if it's in the slot size or the slot size or not. Um, so this is an absolute must for me. Even though I don't fish on slot sized lakes, I just like to measure fish. You have to have weights. I have a bunch of weights. I have like half ounce. Quarter ounce, eighth ounce, sixteenth ounce jigs in here. But you have to have those. You have to have scissors to cut the line. I don't like using my teeth because my dentist said it's, it's bad for your teeth, so I don't like using that for my teeth. So I just bring scissors along. Makes it a lot quicker too. And then you have to have some kind of some poles. I have three fishing poles. I have jigs on them right now. I might try to go ice fishing tonight. I don't know. But if I do, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a YouTube video because um, it's the first time I've been ice fishing this year and I want to make sure the ice is safe. So I probably won't be making a YouTube video today on ice fishing but you know and then the stuff that you kind of need but you don't have to I fished I caught fish uh, last year without this but yeah I have some kind of fish finder I have a Markham I'm not endorsing this company. They didn't pay me to do this or anything like that. I just got this for Christmas. I haven't tried it out yet, but I think it'll work pretty good. So, Vexlars, Hummingbirds, Markgongs, any kind of fish finder will work. So, um, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, that should do it. So, 
Thanks for watching my ice fishing must need ice fishing stuff. So uh like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you check my page pretty soon because I'm probably gonna have some ice fishing videos up and we'll probably catch some nice panfish, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.